welcome or welcome back. I'm Kendra. I'm really happy you're here today to share some yoga with me. We're going to work on saying hello to your parallel hips or your internal rotation and see what we can do to strengthen these areas of our body. Yoga has so much external rotation. We're going to have a different focus today. So grab your mat, blanket or blocks, whatever works for you, and come join me. Okay, with our parallel hips, our internal rotation, we're going to start today in hero's pose, right? With the feet under the hips, if this, it feels not so great on your body, you can take the knees and the feet wide and sit up on a block, find a little more expansion through the hip flexors. So sitting nice and tall, inhale and exhale, find your natural breath. And we have Argus joining us here today for some yoga. Let's see if he sticks around. I think he will. Okay, there we go. Finding your natural breath, tuning into the whole front side of your body, feeling your breath expand and enliven each part of you. And then focus on your back body. And as you breathe in, feel the expansion along your shoulders, your sacrum, and your ribs expanding to the sides. Cersei is also joining us, so we're double dog today. We'll see how long that lasts, okay? Inhale, arms come straight up to the sky. Take them to prayer and back down to heart center taking your moment of appreciation for showing up today on your mat. I do this for you, for no one else. So you need to appreciate yourself as well for being here. All right, let's inhale out to all fours for a moment. Just resetting our knees. But this time we're gonna take them a little bit wider. Okay, so feet coming together, knees wide, sitting back again sort of in a wide-legged hero's pose as we inhale up and exhale, leaning over to your right side. And your breath in takes you back to center and the breath out takes you to your left. Inhale once again, back to center one more time each side, leaning to your right shoulder is soft and then inhale heart over hips exhale let everything fall to your left and inhale back to center from here breathe in heart comes out head drops a little and as you exhale ripple through round the back drop the neck and again on the inhale, just moving forward, everything finding the spotlight on the front of your body, just everything shining forward. And then exhale, belly button to spine. One more, inhale, take it all out front. And then your exhale rounds you down, beautiful. Taking your hands to the mat, uncurl those toes, and move out to a plank position. Argus, I might need more of my mat here. All right, here we are in plank, pushing up out of the shoulders. Take the fingertips very wide, really press into your fingers. Take your hips a little bit higher than you think. Belly button to the spine here, core is coming up and in, finding a lot of strength. Exhale downward facing dog. Sorry, buddy. Pedal through the feet. Inhale, dropping the hips from side to side as you exhale, but doing this at your pace, right? Find where your body needs attention because I can't tell that through the camera or even if I was with you. So find where you need to give a little love.
And find your way also back to neutral. Inhale, right leg comes to the sky. Exhale, knee to nose. So shoulders are coming over, wrists. And then taking it back, inhale. Exhale again, knee to nose. One more time back. Exhale, knee to nose. Pausing here. Feeling a lot of core, a lot of strength happening. And exhale, take it back. Other side, breathe in. Exhale, the knee to nose. Again, remember you're just taking those shoulders out over your wrists. Back up. And the last time, we will pause at the bottom. Finding our plank. And taking it back. Downward facing dog. Well done. This time, come down. Keeping your knees up. Forearms to the mat. Find your palms on the mat. And send the hips back for dolphin. So my shoulders coming over my elbows. And then maybe sawing their way back, right? Working some muscles here. Delts and the traps. And that beautiful serratus. Drop the knees. Good job. Coming up, toes curled under, a nice foot stretch, and at the same time, rolling your wrists in either direction. If you'd like, you can roll from the backs of your hands. Okay, so finding the back fingers toward you, and then they spin, and then the opposite direction. Always more challenging. <laughs> so backs the hands, spinning to the front, and again backs the hands. This also is great for anxiety and stress. And then inhale. Coming up, hips over knees. Slight back bend. Like a mini, mini camel. And then exhale. Hands coming to the mat again downward facing dog. So set yourself up. Breathe in. Inhale. Right? Your left leg to the sky. Exhale. Step it between your hands. Inhale up. High lunge. And let's bend through that back knee and take the hands down. Palms facing forward as we hold this position, finding a lot of strength, pushing through your feet. And then arms coming back up, keeping the back knee bent here, arching back for a little crescent. And now straighten that back leg. Come back up with cactus arms. And this time straighten through the front leg. And can your heels both be off the mat? I have a very big stance, so this makes this really challenging. And then front heel down, bend in the front leg. Hands coming forward. Step to the front of the mat for Urdhvastasana. Extended Tadasana. And then arms right back down to your sides. Palms are facing the front wide fingers, right? The more you focus on those wide fingers, the more activated your arms will be, which is great for building strength. Breathe in. Take the arms up and overhead. Exhale. Taking your elbows, your palms, your forearms together, keeping them together in a forward fold. Now your elbows won't probably meet here, but your hands can. This time coming up to a half lift. I still have my hands in a prayer position. And then take it down. And inhale all the way up. Exhale back to Tadasana as I fix my microphone. 
Inhale, coming all the way up. Again, palm center, this time arching. Bent legs, bent legs, bent legs. As you go down and then round, 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 round. Down into your forward fold. And then place your hands on the mat. Step back into a plank. And drop the knees for our first vinyasa. Elbows kissing the ribs all the way down. And then inhale up for a baby cobra. So palms are under the shoulders. And it's not your head that's lifting you. It is your heart. So soft through the neck, can you? Turn your head from side to side and find some softness there. Then exhale down. And as you inhale, push yourself back to downward facing dog. This time, lifting your right leg to the sky, step it through. Finding your spot here, feet on railroad tracks, Inhale, all the way up, high lunge. There we are, find your balance here. You may notice how it's different from the other side. And bending through the back leg, taking the arms down to your sides. I'm gonna hold right here. Again, I have those wide fingertips. Now, one of the things that I tend to do in this position is rock myself back. I want my shoulders over my hips and not to be leaning into my low back, so think of zipping up those ribs in the front and maybe slightly aiming the tailbone down. Good job. Y'all, we're holding. <laughs> now straighten the back leg. And let's see if we can straighten through the front. So both of our legs are now ooh, straight. Think of inner thighs moving toward each other. Good job. And then bend through that front leg. This time arms are going to sweep out overhead as we step up to Tadasana. Beautiful job. Inhale up. As we exhale, let's sit back into a chair. Take your hands to prayer. And take your elbows wide, pressing through your hands. Now your big toes can touch here in chair or you can have them hip distance apart, whatever works best for you. Long neck. And breathe in and take it all back up to the sky. Take a nice look up at your hands. Your arms don't have to be straight here. They can be right here. And your genie, genie arms. And then let's take it down again, all right? So bringing prayer down with us sitting back into chair elbows super wide palms pushing together inhale exhale taking it down well done well done back to tadasana to reset our whole body let it find some balance the whole front side of the body is moving up the whole back side is moving down. So find that opposition. And this time breathe in, taking your left leg up into one legged Tadasana. And then hands can come to heart center. Bend through your standing leg as we bring the torso forward, 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 forward. And then push through that heel. Just push it out into a warrior three. You can have a straight standing leg. You can have a bent standing leg but really push through the heel of the leg that's out behind you. And on your exhale, take your hands to the mat for a standing split. Now, I am not a person, as you can see, with some huge standing split. You don't need to. It's just a nice release of the chest here. And a lot of power in that floating leg. Curl that leg in. Bring it back down to the mat, and you're in a forward fold. So let yourself hang heavy as we hear more things dropping from the trees onto my deck. <laughs> Breathe. Inhale. Take everything up to the top and lift. 
your right leg into one-legged Tadasana. Again, here we are balancing. Level your hips, flex that floating foot, and hands come to heart center. Inhale, long spine as we start bending through the standing leg, tilting the torso, and on your exhale, push through that back foot, that heel really, really strong, and the torso comes down. Try to level your hips so they're aiming like headlights toward the mat. Keep breathing here, inner thighs moving together. And on your exhale, take your hands to the mat. Leg comes up for standing split. Dropping the head heavy. Hands can be on blocks. And then bring the leg in, fold it, fold it, fold it. Just step right together. Breathe in. This time up we go. Exhale. Hands to heart center. Good job. All right. Inhale. And on our exhale, Urdhva Hastasana, a nice arch on that beautiful extended Tadasana. And then exhale, taking it straight up. Beautiful. All right. Let's roll ourselves down, aiming our prayer fingers down at the mat, letting everything fall. Mm -hmm. On your inhale, half lift. On your exhale, step it back to plank. And either move through your vinyasa, dropping your knees, or if you'd like to try chaturanga, make sure you have a nice, firm starting point. You're going to inhale and really push yourself way out while your elbows come into your ribs. And you can turn your toes under or upward facing dog. It's not something to do if it causes you any kind of pain or if it feels so hard because it's a great way to <laughs> injure your shoulder, honestly. So make sure if you're doing chaturanga, you feel that you have that strength and confidence. Breathe in, hips come up, back to downward facing dog. Hmm. All right. Inhale. Taking your left leg to the sky. Exhale. Crossing it in front of your right leg. Both knees come to the ground. Feet go wide. Sit back on your seat and extend the arms up. Exhale. Left arm comes to your shoulders. Right arm comes around the back. I do have a short sore shoulder, so I'm not going to even try to grab that, but you can Take a hold of clothing or let your hands just rest on your back like I am. Front ribs are knitting together. Inhale, taking the arms straight down, bringing those feet back together. This time, keeping the cross position, turn your toes under, taking yourself back to a cross. Down dog, and then reset your feet. That other side, inhale, exhale, take your leg down, cross it in front of your left leg. Take the feet out a little wide, and inhale, arms to the sky. This time, left arm comes to the top, right arm sweeps around the back for a beautiful shoulder opener. Mm, inhale, tall spine, open the hands, exhale, hands come to the mat, again, curl those toes under, keep them crossed all the way back to downward facing dog, and then uncurl those, or I mean, unwrap the feet, reset, inhale out to plank. This time, find that long spine, really push through that left arm as we pivot the left foot onto the side of the foot. Stack your right foot on top for side plank. So you're pushing through the middle of your body, up and out of your shoulder. If you want to look ahead or up, you can. 
And if you want to take your hand behind your back. And then exhale. Back to plank. Inhale, find your set position here on your exhale, other side. So pivot onto the side of your right foot, stacking your left arm coming up, side body raising toward the sky. See if you can find a soft breath here. As your body is shaking, your breath will help to calm it. And you can take your hand behind the back if you would like. <laughs> or it may make you tilt over like me. And then on your exhale, both hands to the mat. You can run through your vinyasa. Either to baby cobra, cobra, or up dog. And then take your knees wide for child's pose. Inhale, coming back to, you guessed it, downward facing dog. Breathe in, right leg to the sky, exhale, step it through. This time pivot the back foot just a little in. We're going to plant the heel and rise up for warrior one. Now, you may need to adjust your stance like I just did. You want to be on railroad tracks here, not on a tight rope. You don't need anybody to wrench their knee. And if you find, whew, if you find this to be uncomfortable, you can just switch it to a high lunge. Okay, so we want to think of those hips both aiming to the front, bending the front leg, shoulders soft on the back, ribs pulled in. Now, can you push to the outside of your back foot? Inhale, twisting your body to the right. It's not a big twist, right? That arm is not going to go that far. The hips moving together, inner thighs moving together. And on your inhale, up, and then open to the open twist. Both hips are like headlights to the front of the mat. And then straightening that front leg coming down for pyramid. Now, whatever is comfortable for you. I like having blocks here. Depending on what your hamstring says, right? You can lay down over it if you want, or you can keep a nice long back. Just find what works. And then taking your left hand to the mat, keeping your right hip pulled in, open the twist for revolved triangle. You can come back to a high lunge back foot. Breathe there, long body. Excellent. Exhale, taking it down, bending through the front foot, both palms to the mat. Take it back, run through your vinyasa, whatever feels good to you today. Respect your body today. If you are an up dog, really activate the front of your legs all the way down to your toes. Exhale, sending hips back to downward facing dog. All right, let's look at the other side. Inhale, left leg to the sky. Exhale, step it through. Slightly pivot and plant the back foot and rise up. Inhale for warrior one. And there we are. Ah, wide fingertips again. Hips like headlights to the front. And again, pushing down through that back foot, finding your spot right there. And then your next breath in. Lengthen your spine and on your exhale, turning your body to your left for that closed twist, that reverse twist, right? And move those inner thighs toward each other. Push your feet into the mat. The next time you breathe in, come back to neutral. Arms up and on the exhale, open twist. That's the nice one, right? Keep moving into that front leg, right? So you're not straightening yet. 
Now inhale, straightening the front leg, checking, making sure you're on railroad tracks here, okay? Exhale, taking it down for pyramid. You can switch that back foot into high lunge if this does not work for you. Try to pull that right hip forward and the left hip back. Now, I always use a block with this. Taking your right hand onto the block, lifting your left hand, opening for reversed or revolved, I'm sorry, revolved triangle. Inner thighs moving toward each other here. And thinking of opening through your chest, not with your arm, right? So the chest is going toward the sky, the arm is straight up, it's not going backwards. <laughs> and it's very easy to use the arm to do this movement. Breathe here, calm your body. And exhale, both hands to the mat. This time step your, your right foot up to meet your left at the front of the mat. Breathing in, come all the way up top. Exhale, cactus arms with a nice back bend. So opening up. Inhale, and then it exhale again, opening the chest. Shoulder blades are really strong and really moving toward each other. One more. Activate this with your shoulder blades, not your arms. Shoulders, there they are, right? You found them. They're moving toward each other. Exhale, good job. Hands coming down to Tadasana. And if you like to balance sometimes off your mat, if it's more... Um, works a little better for you. You can step off here as we inhale. Hands to prayer. And then knee up to one-legged Tadasana. Flex through that foot. And now start sending it backwards. And as you reach your left arm back, instead of reaching for the outside of the foot, try reaching for the inside of the foot. So your shoulder is now in this external rotation. We're right here for a quad stretch. And then the next time we inhale, start leaning the torso a little. So really you want to think of the leg coming up first, but the torso is going to come with it. But don't take your torso down. Just lean a little and then let the leg do all the work. Arm can come out in front for dancer. And then inhale, take it back up to one-legged Tadasana. And extend the leg. If you are the big toe grabbing kind of person, you can take it here or right here. Now, either way, let it go. Find that active work in the leg. And on your exhale, take it back to the mat. Good job, good job. All right, here we go. Inhale, one-legged Tadasa, flexing that foot. Find the stability in your standing leg. And the next time you exhale, move your leg to the back, rotate your arm, and grab the inside of your right ankle. Now watch this coming out first, right? We want to keep those ribs in, protect that back. So you can lean the torso forward just a little, and now let the leg do the work. Inner thighs moving toward each other. And then coming back up, up to one-legged Tadasana again. Again, if you want to reach across and grab the big toe, or you want to hold both hands on the bottom of the calf. And when you let go, see if you can keep the leg as high woo, as you did while you were holding on, right? <laughs> and then exhale, drop it to the mat. Beautiful job. Arms up high, pushing the air down, pushing everything down away from you as you bend deeply down for forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, 
taking it down, stepping it back to your plank. Go ahead and run through your vinyasa. Like I said, with my sore shoulder, I know exactly where I am today. So remember, no competition, right? This is all about where you are. Exhale, downward facing dog. Excellent job, y'all. This time, knees to the mat. Taking your hands facing each other, gripping together. Now, I like to actually move my blanket for this. As we move toward a hands headstand, if you have a headstand practice, you can move from there, but if you don't, you can stay a nice dolphin right here. So hands can clasp over the top of each other, pushing up and out of your shoulders. And if you do have a handstand practice, making the clasp, making the small triangle elbows close to your head and pushing the hips up. So you're just walking the hips up until your feet leave the ground. Push your shoulders away from your head. Then if you'd like, you extend the legs. You keep pushing those shoulders away from you. It gives you stability and helps you to almost make it a headless headstand, which is much better for your neck, right? As you exhale, bend at the waist. So leaving your hips high, push those shoulders, push, push, push. Let the hips sink a little bit back. Let your feet come down to your knees. And whatever position you're in, coming down to child's pose. Take the arms alongside your body to give those shoulders some relief. Argus. And then push your hands back under your shoulders. Push yourself to your rose pose. Here we are. All right, so this time let's turn over onto our seat as we move toward the end of our practice. Hi, Argus. And we adjust our leggings. <laughs> Hi, baby. All right, here we go. Finding a nice boat pose. This time, feet stay on the ground, okay? This is all about leaning back and finding where the work is and not picking your feet up. So this belly wants to push out. So think of holding the belly back in, but your back doesn't round. Everything here is low back. Now, can you take your arms up? My, our trees are really dropping. They're litter in the yard in the deck today. All right, find that shaky, shaky feeling. I know your feet want to come off the mat, but don't take them off. And then sit all the way up. So we have a feel for that. So let's take it, take your feet out a little bit further and then inhale. It's even different, right? Whoop. Push your toes into the mat. See if you can take your arms up. I wonder if you're shaking as much as me. <laughs> and inhale. Take it all to the top. Very nice job. All right. Now lying down on your back. Lean all the way. Roll it down. Feet under knees. Hands on the mat. If you have a block handy, this is a great time to use one. So putting it between your thighs. And as you raise the hips, just having the um, palms down, pushing through your arms, not rolling the shoulders under yet, just right here, inhaling. And trying to get that chest up as opposed to just the belly, which is what happens for me. So rise, raise through the hips, raise through those glutes and through the chest. 
squeeze the black and exhale it down good job this time we can clasp behind the back if you'd like or you can stay in this position right so if that's if you want something different inhale the hips up you can clasp that works for your shoulders rolling the shoulders under and raising through the seat and the upper back squeeze the block if you have it and exhale whoo taking it all down good job good job breathe in take your left leg high cross it across your right and taking your hands thread them behind your right thigh and pull your legs towards you so you may be right here and this is perfect you might come up to your toe or put your foot on the block or you might come all the way in whatever works for you make sure that foot the uh, the cross leg is crossed all the way over your ankle is overhanging And then exhale, take it down. Let's work the other side. So taking the right foot to the mat, or I'm sorry, the left foot to mat, lifting your right leg, crossing it over, and go over hanging, flex the foot, and then bring it in to wherever's comfortable. Relax through the hips, through the hamstrings, through the seat. And then exhale everything down finding your shavasana if that is hands overhead or butterfly bound angle legs whatever works for you Feel your body melting into the floor. Calming your energy. Now start bringing focus to your breath. Where does your body expand when you breathe it in? And where does your body contract when you let it out? Wiggle your fingers and toes, just bringing some energy to your body. Rolling onto your left side, using your arm for a pillow if you would like. And when you're ready, pushing yourself up to a seated position. And take a moment to appreciate that you've done something beautiful for yourself today, that you value yourself enough to show up on your mat, to honor who you are, and what your body can do for you.
So take my hands to the third eye. Thank you so much for joining me today. I truly appreciate your presence here. It makes my life so much better. So have a beautiful day.